A lady's imagination is very rapid, it jumps from admiration to love, from love to matrimony in a moment. I do not want people to be very agreeable, as it saves me the trouble of liking them a great deal. The more I know of the world, the more I am convinced that I shall never see a man whom I can really love. I require so much. The more I know of the world, the more I am convinced that I shall never see a man whom I can really love. I require so much. Angry people are not always wise. You pierce my soul. I am half agony, half hope, I have loved none but you. I hate to hear you talk about all women as if they were fine ladies instead of rational creatures. None of us want to be in calm waters all our lives. Ah. There is nothing like staying at home, for real comfort. There is a stubbornness about me that never can bear to be frightened at the will of others. My courage always rises at every attempt to intimidate me. I could easily forgive his pride, if he had not mortified mine. I must learn to be content with being happier than I deserve. Silly things do cease to be silly if they are done by sensible people in an impudent way. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. Friendship is certainly the finest balm for the pangs of disappointed love. Nobody can tell what I suffer. But it is always so. Those who do not complain are never pitied. The distance is nothing when one has a motive. A woman, especially if she have the misfortune of knowing anything, should conceal it as well as she can. There could have been no two hearts so open, no tastes so similar, no feelings so in unison. Stupid men are the only ones worth knowing after all. There are people, who the more you do for them, the less they will do for themselves. She is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me, and I am in no humor at present to give consequence to young ladies who are slighted by other men. One half of the world cannot understand the pleasures of the other. How quick come the reasons for approving what we like. All the privilege I claim for my own sex, it is not a very enviable one, you need not covet it, is that of loving longest, when existence or when hope is gone. It's been many years since I had such an exemplary vegetable. Better be without sense than misapply it as you do. One man's ways may be as good as another's, but we all like our own best. Had I been in love, I could not have been more wretchedly blind. But vanity, not love, has been my folly. 
A man does not recover from such devotion of the heart to such a woman. He ought not, he does not. I am only resolved to act in that manner, which will, in my own opinion, constitute my happiness, without reference to you, or to any person so wholly unconnected with me. There is no charm equal to tenderness of heart. Follies and nonsense, whims and inconsistencies do divert me, I own, and a laugh at them whenever I can. I come here with no expectations, only to profess, now that I am at liberty to do so, that my heart is and always will be yours. I cannot speak well enough to be unintelligible. But people themselves alter so much, that there is something new to be observed in them forever. You must be the best judge of your own happiness. She hoped to be wise and reasonable in time, but alas! Alas! She must confess to herself that she was not wise yet. I will be calm. I will be mistress of myself. Men of sense, whatever you may choose to say, do not want silly wives. She was convinced that she could have been happy with him, when it was no longer likely they should meet. Selfishness must always be forgiven you know, because there is no hope of a cure. One cannot be always laughing at a man without now and then stumbling on something witty. A large income is the best recipe for happiness I ever heard of. We have all a better guide in ourselves, if we would attend to it, than any other person can be. No man is offended by another man's admiration of the woman he loves, it is the woman only who can make it a torment. Do not give way to useless alarm, though it is right to be prepared for the worst, there is no occasion to look on it as certain.